In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Whether you're new to Amadeus or just looking to sharpen your skills, today's video is crucial. We're tackling the core lifeblood of your job as a travel agent, issuing and voiding tickets in the Amadeus. Getting these processes right isn't just about convenience. It's about efficiency, accuracy, avoiding costly errors, and ultimately, providing top-notch service to your clients. Mastering Amadeus for ticketing means smoother operations and a healthier bottom line for your agency. Let's get you feeling confident. Once the PNR is created, the next step is to price the booked classes before we begin issuing tickets. To do this, enter the FXP transaction command and press enter to run the itinerary pricing process. Please note, this session covers issuing and voiding tickets exclusively. For comprehensive FXP tutorials, check out our pricing masterclass videos. When multiple fares appear, like these four, always reference them by line number. If only one fare is available for the booked classes, no selection is needed. Select the line 4 fare for passenger 1 by entering FXT4 slash P1 and pressing enter. This will apply the pricing. To prevent data loss, save your changes before modifying mandatory or optional ticketing elements. When a PNR is priced, a TST, transitional stored ticket tag is attached. This indicates a pricing record has been added to the PNR. Saudi Airlines, SV, is automatically set as the validating carrier. To add it manually, enter FV, validating carrier, identifier, followed by SV, Saudi Airlines, and press enter. The FE, endorsement, field may auto-populate with airline-provided text. To modify or add manually, enter FE, endorsement, identifier, followed by your custom text and press enter. Now let's add the form of payment. Keep in mind that available payment methods, such as cash, INV, invoice, AGT, agent, or CC, credit card, may vary depending on your BSP market and the airline. For this demonstration, we'll use the cash payment method. Simply type the FP, form of payment, identifier followed by cash, then press enter to proceed. The next required ticketing element is commission. Use the FM, commission, identifier, followed by the value. This can be a fixed amount or a percentage. For example, to enter a fixed commission of 100 Ethiopian bear, type 100A, where A stands for amount. For a percentage commission, like 7%, just type the number 7, no letter needed. The commission value depends on the market and airline policy. In our case, the commission is 0%, so we'll simply enter FM, commission, identifier followed by 0, and press enter to proceed. Let's save the changes. Then refresh the PNR, type IR and press enter. Great! Your PNR is built, fares are quoted, and you're ready to issue the ticket. Key tips for issuing ticket. Double and triple check names and flights. Even a small typo can be costly to correct. Accuracy is crucial. Review the fare calculation carefully. Don't skip this step. Make sure the base fare taxes, and total amount align with expectations. Know your payment commands. Be confident with credit card entry formats or follow your agency's standard payment procedures. To issue the ticket, type TTP is the command to issue the ticket, slash, T1 means you're using TST, ticket record, number 1. Slash RT keeps the PNR open after the ticket is issued, press enter to proceed. However, it's better to issue tickets by using the passenger and segment numbers instead of the TST number. In our example, type TTP is the command to issue the ticket, slash, P1 is for passenger 1, slash, S2-3 means segments 2 to 3 in the PNR, slash RT keeps the PNR open after the ticket is issued, press enter to proceed. If you see, OK ticket, or, OK ticket will be issued, it means the ticket has been issued successfully. Let's retrieve or redisplay the PNR. The ticket number has been updated on line 7 of the PNR, starting with FA, followed by the three-digit airline designator 065 for Saudi Airlines, and then the 10-digit ticket number assigned from local BSP assigned stock. ET identifies an electronic ticket. SV indicates Saudi Airlines. ETB represents the Ethiopian bear currency. 
and 61,214 is the amount. The ticket was issued on June 15, 2025. The office code is ADD1A0901. The IATA number is 00220065, and the ticket was issued for segments 2 to 3. Now, let's cover voiding tickets. Mistakes happen and plans change. Knowing how to void tickets quickly and correctly is essential. Keep in mind, voiding is usually only possible within a short window after issuance, often just minutes or a few hours, or before the ticket's issuance date changes, depending on the airline and local BSP rules. After this period, the ticket must be refunded instead. You can void or cancel an issued ticket directly from the PNR, through a query report, or by using the document number. Before voiding or canceling a ticket, confirm the sales status to ensure it is eligible for voiding. Use the TJT item transaction report followed by a slash and TK, the document identifier, a dash, then enter the 10-digit BSP stock or ticket number without the three-digit airline designator 065. Press Enter to proceed. The sales status here is Pending, which means you can void the ticket. This applies if the coupon status is O, Open, or, in some cases, A, Airport Control, and before the status changes to Confirm in the TJT report. It's also important to check the coupon status of the issued ticket. To void a ticket, the coupon status must be O, Open. To check the coupon status from the PNR, Use the TWD transaction followed by a slash, then the letter L line identifier, and the number 7 to specify line 7 of the FA element from the PNR. Press Enter to proceed. The coupon status is O open, which means it hasn't been used. Important scenarios and tips for voiding tickets. Immediate void. This is the ideal scenario, catching an error right after issuing the ticket. Voiding later within airline and local BSP window. If you are within the airline's void window, always check specific airline rules. Also verify local BSP policies to ensure compliance. Outside void window. Once the void window closes, you must process a refund according to airline policies, which may include penalty charges. Partial voids. Generally, you void the entire ticket coupon sequence. Voiding individual coupons electronically is usually not possible and requires a refund. Always confirm ticket number. Voiding the wrong ticket can cause major issues. Double check the ticket number carefully before proceeding. Always check coupon status. Ensure the coupon status is O, open, before voiding. Check airline specific rules. Void rules vary by airline. Some have very strict time limits, for example, 5 minutes, 30 minutes, two hours. When in doubt, always verify. Let's demonstrate how to void a ticket from the PNR. First, retrieve the PNR by using the RT transaction followed by the six-character Amadeus PNR code. Press Enter to proceed. The issued ticket is on line number seven of the PNR. Use the TRDC void document transaction followed by a slash, then the letter L line identifier, and the number 7 to specify line 7 of the FA element in the PNR. Press Enter to proceed. The message, OK, document cancelled, confirms that the document has been successfully cancelled. After voiding a ticket, it is recommended to check the TJQ query report and the e-ticket record to confirm that the document has been successfully cancelled or voided. Retrieve the PNR again. You will now see the FA line marked with EV indicating the electronic document has been voided. To check the coupon status from the PNR, use the TWD transaction followed by a slash, then the letter L line identifier, and the number 7 to specify line 7 of the FA element from the PNR. Press Enter to proceed. The coupon status has now changed to V, indicating it has been voided. To display the query report, use the TJQ transaction and press Enter to proceed. The CANX transaction type indicates a manual void or cancellation of a document and appears under the TRNC column in the query report. Let's demonstrate how to void a ticket using the query report. Use the TJQ transaction to display your query report, then press Enter to proceed. The TKTT transaction type indicates an electronic ticket and appears under the TRNC column in the query report. To void the document, 
use the TRDC transaction followed by a slash and the sequence number from the query report, for example, 000204. Press Enter to proceed. The message, OK, document cancelled, confirms that the document has been successfully cancelled. To display the query report, use the TJQ transaction and press Enter to proceed. The CANX transaction type indicates a manual void or cancellation of a document and appears under the TRNC column in the query report. To display the e-ticket record, use the TWD transaction followed by a slash, then TKT, ticket identifier, the three-digit airline designator 065 for Saudi Airlines, a dash, and the ten-digit BSP stock or ticket number. Press Enter to proceed. The coupon status has now changed to V indicating it has been voided. Let's demonstrate how to void a ticket using the document number. Use the TRDC transaction to void the ticket, followed by a slash, then TK, document identifier, a dash, and the 10-digit document or BSP stock number. Press Enter to proceed. The message, OK, document cancelled, confirms that the document has been successfully cancelled. To display the query report, Use the TJQ transaction and press Enter to proceed. The CANX transaction type indicates a manual void or cancellation of a document and appears under the TRNC column in the query report. To display the e-ticket record, use the TWD transaction followed by a slash, then TKT, ticket identifier, the three-digit airline designator 065 for Saudi Airlines, a dash, and the 10-digit BSP stock or ticket number. Press Enter to proceed. The coupon status has now changed to V, indicating it has been voided. Did you find this video tutorial helpful? Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. What Amadeus challenges do you face? Let us know in the comments below. I read all your comments. Struggling with exchanges or complex refunds? Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming deep dives into those topics. Thanks for watching, and happy Amadeus ticketing!